What's going on, Weekend Hangover Nation? I'm your boy, Surf, and I'm back with some more Undrafted. We're talking Kansas City Chiefs and their Undrafted Hall today. So let's jump right in. I'm starting out with a kid named James Williams. He's a running back out of Washington State. He's 5'9", 197. He ran a 4'5", 40 at the Combine, and his 2018 stats read as followed. 122 rushes for 560 yards and 12 touchdowns to go along with 83 receptions, 613 yards, and four touchdowns. He's a scat back in the best possible way. He's better receiving in space than he is running between the tackles. Better than expected pass blocker was something I noticed on tape, especially for running back his size. Now, Williams' big strength is space. You get him out in space, he's got that short area quickness that I love. He's got a, a wider range of moves for evading uh, defenders. And he has a vicious Corey Dillon-esque stiff arm. I mean, it's absolutely vicious. And to go along with spin moves, and he's he's fantastic. He's hard to bring down if you get him one-on-one -on -one against against uh, linebackers or D-backs. He's, he's fantastic. Now, a few negatives when I'm watching Williams' tape are, all right, I'm going to start out with the, this first one. I'm not sure you can necessarily count as a negative because I can't hold this against Williams. But, again, i got to point it out there. He played at an air raid system at Washington State. So that's a lot of space and a lot of really lightly stacked boxes that he was running against. And and on the receiving side, now this this would be more of a negative. He had he didn't really have an advanced route tree. His a lot of his stuff was more like safety like safety valve stuff, like you just kind of dump it out fell off to him. He wasn't running too many go routes or wheel routes out of the backfield. But, you know what? That's that's something he can learn on the next level, and I fully expect him to because Williams is a hell of a receiving back. Next up, I got a linebacker out of Texas named Gary Johnson. He's six foot, two twenty six. He's a little bit light in the pants for for what you'd look for for a prototypical NFL linebacker. But you know what? He's a fast guy. He ran a four four three at the combine, and his two thousand eighteen stats read as followed: sixty one solo tackles, sixteen and a half for loss, and six point five sacks. He's a high energy downhill style linebacker who excels at plugging running lanes. He squares up well, lowers the pad level, and he makes Johnson, which makes Johnson a hell of a short tackler on film. He was a core special teamer during his entire during his career at Texas, and as you know, uh, if you've been listening, special teams are key for making for making the NFL uh, for making an NFL roster as a backup linebacker. He's a he's capable in man coverage, but struggles mightily in space. I think it's due to his lateral quickness when I'm looking at him because he's um. He, well, he can he can stay on a guy's hip if you're just running a straight a straight line, or he's got a or he can be physical with a tight end. But when you at, when you ask him to cover short space and you ask him to go left right really quick, and it's just it's just not there, man. So some negatives in Johnson's game is he struggles to disengage when he's blocked. I'm not gonna call him glue because he does get off, but maybe I'm gonna call him Velcro. You know, it's a, it's a little more difficult, and he's undersized for his style of play. He's plugging holes, he's jamming down, and you know what, for a 226 guy, I mean, it's like the size of a safety. So, all right, this has been the Kansas City Chiefs. Hope you guys liked it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll be back with much more here at the Weekend Hangover. Thank you.